You asked for it, and you get it. Welcome back to a random Asian man grading football kits on the internet. Yeah, so if we could get this video to 150 likes, and also please follow my Twitter. I asked you people what kits to grade, and you voted Euro kits this time. If I keep doing this voice, I might kill myself. Firstly, we have the Italian home kit, which has a beautiful renaissance pattern, basically reflecting the history of Italian art. With the addition of the dark blue collar and the dark blue trim on the sleeves with the golden Puma logo, it is a brilliant kit. It's our very first kit and our very first A plus of the day. Italy's away kit basically following the same design, the whole renaissance pattern, and it's a different one from actually the home kit, which I really appreciate. In terms of white kits that go for subtle designs, usually you don't actually see the design very well. On this one, it is perfectly there. It looks beautiful. I don't know if I can give it an A plus though. It feels weird to have the first two kits be A pluses, so we'll just go with an A for this one. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Oh, what the fuck? Switzerland's home kit is... Okay. Now, Switzerland's away kit, though, is so much better. For the rest of the video, whenever there's a meaningful design, I will explain where it comes from. Just to give you some context and also, you know, a little insight on what the designers themselves thought. Here we have four different colored stripes that represent all four of Switzerland's official languages. German, French, Italian, and Rito-Romanic. I probably absolutely butchered that. On top of that, these stripes are actually made up of little small Swiss crosses and they form these uh, mountains. It's a really clever design. They could have gone for just a simple mountain design, but they went further with it and I really appreciate that. So in my opinion, it's an A. <laughs> Turkey's home kit. Turkey's away kit. This one's better. Wales kit isn't all that special. I really like the stripes on the sleeves though, the yellow, the green, and the white, and then the badge itself really pops out. Really nice there. Besides that though, it's not the most impressive kit. Wales away kit, just the recycled default Adidas design. Give that an F. Belgium's home kit, which I feel like gets a lot of positive reviews and then a lot of negative reviews, and I'm more in the positive here. Let's go! It's a very modern approach to a Belgian kit, and I really like it. I really like how they utilize the brushstroke stripes here, the black and then the more subtle red. I wouldn't say there's really any meaning to the brushstrokes themselves. I think they're just there for, you know, cool effect. But it's still a nice kit. So you're gonna learn very quickly throughout more of these videos being made that I hate the Adidas recycled design so much. They do it on so many kits and it annoys the hell out of me. Sure, it looks nice the first few times, but when you plaster it on every single club kit, please, just get it away from me. Although this one still looks pretty nice, I can't lie. Arsenal's home kit. Bazinga. It's not bad, I'm just not the biggest fan of the Hummel like stripes down the shoulders And it's just really odd seeing the white sleeves just in general I do like the little like sound wave design they did subtly on the front of the shirt It's not too impressive though Oh looky here we have our very first plain shirt Finland's home kid uses a clever approach to the finished cross putting it right on the front of the shirt. I don't think they've ever done that before, but I'll do a little bit more research just to see when I go into the editing of this. I do like the modern touch to it though. The cross is a lot darker than the actual flag itself, but it also has like this gradient coming up towards the chest, which looks pretty neat. And then just to top it all off, you have the golden Nike logo there. And you're also gonna realize that I'm also a fool for golden logos for whatever reason. Finland's away kits. The more I look at it, the more it just grows on me. It's a very, very neat and clean shirt. Really nice collar, of course, again, the golden Nike logo, the addition of like the American football type 
uh, stripes on the shoulders look pretty neat as well. Again, Finland did pretty well here. Russia's home kit utilizes the recycled Adidas design as well, but at least it looks nice and isn't just the only thing on the kit. Russia's away kit plastered the Russian flag right onto the shirt and called it a day. It still looks nice though. Austria's kits continue to bang every single Euro, unlike their performances. The pattern itself is inspired by the Vienna Succession Art Nouveau style movement of the late 19th century, which from my knowledge is basically the progressive movement towards more modern styles of arts than the previous conservative styles of art. Yes, it does look like the Arsenal kit more than probably the Danish kit, so I probably should have made the joke there, but this is actually a really nice looking kit. Now we have the away Austrian kit, and it looks even better than the home kit. It has the same inspiration as the home kit, and this time I think it's like a feather pattern. It's actually like a pretty visible feather. The kit comes well really nicely. You have also the blue trim on the sleeves and the golden puma logo. I'm gonna stop mentioning golden <laughs> logos for the rest of this video. Oh, <laughs> The Netherlands home kits. These kits, I'm just saying, like, it's hard to see that any of them have really missed because they've tried really, really unique designs, and I'm glad to see it. And the Netherlands are no exception. They actually incorporated the lion design from their actual Federation badge onto the shirt itself with, like, an abstract approach to it, and it looks fantastic. Give that an A+. The Netherlands Away Kits is a little bit more of the opposite. There's not much really happening, it's just a black collared shirt with some orange trim on the side and also on the collar. Now, North Macedonia is a little bit more complicated because they haven't released the shirt since the 2018 World Cup qualifiers. So I'm just going to assume they're not going to change anything there, especially since they are a relatively small nation. And if that's the case, this is still a pretty nice jersey. I like the incorporation of the Macedonian sun right in the center of the badge. Kind of gives you that glow effect on the badge itself. So yeah, it's, it's a good shirt. Now... <laughs> The away kit's a different story. They just did the same thing, basically, but the kit's white and the sun is gray. And, sorry, it's a miss. The Ukraine home kit doesn't really have much going for it, but there is, like, a diamond design that's subtly there on the front of the shirt. Ukraine's away kit, at least the design's a little bit more visible, and I would say it definitely is a bit better than the Ukraine home kit. It's very hard to grade a kit like this, because, I mean... What can you do with checkers? There's only so much you can do with checkers. It's a classic Croatian design. You can't really insult it, nor can you really put it up at the top. Croatia's away kit. All I can think when I see this jersey is the 2009 Charlotte Bobcats NASCAR jerseys. All jokes aside though, it actually looks pretty all right. I think the one thing that it's missing is an incorporation of some blue or something along the lines of that. Maybe actually a white. A white would probably look better on this. The Czech Republic. The Czech Republic Part 2. Now we touch the England home kit, and I feel like I will be butchered for my opinions because, well, most of my audience are British. I don't dislike it whatsoever, I honestly do like it. I just don't think I'd rate it as high as a lot of British people would. But at least it's better than 2010, 2014, and 2018. England's away kit though. Now we're talking. Although, I was not expecting this at all for England's away kit, it looks brilliant. I don't know how it works, it just does. It's a weird shade of blue that they've used, and it's also really odd that the entire uh, English badge is just red. And then you also have the pattern itself on the shirt, all over the shirt as well, which I believe is an inspiration of the Three Lions, which again, really nice design. Scotland's home kit utilizes a neat watercolor effect for their hoops on the shirt. Uh, the away kit just, uh, I don't really like it too much, to be honest. Uh, Poland. Poland. Huh. Poland. It looks better, I'll give it that, on the away shirt, but the away shirt also really doesn't impress me that much. Slovakia's home kit. Now, when I first looked at this kit, I was kind of confused what the design was. It was still a very neat design, but when I read what the actual pattern was, my eyes just opened completely wide and loved the shirt even more. So what's the design, you may ask? Well, it's a mountain design, and it looks absolutely brilliant on this shirt. It reminds me of my time back in Colorado in the deep mountains of Colorado where you'd see like a normal shirt just have like a giant mountain pattern and it looked really neat. But this, this takes the cake. This is the best Euro kit 
Don't at me. And then talk about a downgrade for the away kit. Spain's home kit, which just looks like a tacky quilt. Now, I, I tried to figure out what they were trying to go for when they designed this shirt. So I read the footy headlines description of it. So let me let me just give you that. So let me just give you that real quick. The home shirt features a pixelated design inspired by the national flag. This results in a checkered design in shades of red. What? Spain's away kit, you know, it's got the recycled design once again. Thank you, Adidas. Love you, Adidas. Sweden's home kit, a very clean shirt. You also have the lovely stripes, the dark blue, and then the lighter shade of blue on there too. Sweden's away kit reminds me of a jersey I'd see in 2010. Not really like it. And then slowly the kit starts to grow on me. French kits have a very, very notable track record. It is simply they either hit or they miss. There is no in-between, and they approached the 1999 design again, modernized it, of course, and, um, it sucks. Oh, and you want to talk about the French away kit? Just get, get the out of here. Onto a nice white shirt. A much, much better looking white shirt. The German home kit. You have the really clever idea of putting the German flag itself on the sleeves, and it looks really nice for at least the format of what the shirt was going for. German home kits always seem to do really well, and this one is no exception. It's an A. Now, I said that the Slovakia home kit was probably by far the best Euro kit, but this is a very, very close second. I love this kit so much. I would buy it in a heartbeat if I could right now, but <laughs> I don't have money. The German flag design on the sleeves looks even sleeker than before. I love just this monochrome design that they did with the entire shirt. I love it. It's so clean. It is the perfect example of when you do a black kit right, it looks fantastic. And this one, A+. <laughs> No debate. Hungary's home kit is pretty nice. I like the little design it has on the front of the shirts. It's not as impressive as the other stuff we've seen in the past before, but you know, it's still a good shirt. Hungary's away kit can go directly in the bin. Portugal's home kit looks like a golf shirt, but that's okay because it still looks pretty nice. It does feel like there's something missing, and yes, that might be just me having a hard on for these subtle designs on these kits that have some meaning to it. Maybe I just need to reevaluate how I look at shirts. I never seem to really like the approach that Portugal goes for when it comes to their away kits nowadays. I don't know, maybe it's just nostalgia or the idea of having seen the peak of away kits for Portugal where I saw you know, the 2010 and the 2012. Although, it is pretty clever when you read the description. Pretty much the main mint color is inspired by, well, Portuguese away kit from 2016, which, if you remember, was pretty successful in that tournament. Although I was never a fan of any of the 2016 Nike kits, especially the Portuguese away one, it's still pretty clever. And so that is another review done. This time, all the Euro 2020 kits, and I hope you enjoyed that one as well. If you could follow my Twitter, where I tweet great things like this. Um, follow my Twitch as well, where I do try and stream pretty much at least once a week and more most of the time. And finally, on my Instagram, because, uh, I don't know, this photo is pretty cool. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.